So you know how in my last video I talked about teenagers. During this pleasant little rant I mentioned the music circulating around modern day pop culture. This is actually where I got a lot of my feedback. From more than one person actually. Mostly asking about... Why I hated Justin Bieber and Eminem. Let me start out by saying that if you are a fan of the music that is mainstreaming our pop culture today, then this probably isn't the video for you. I'm probably gonna piss you off. Also, let me start off by saying that this video is gonna be a lot more serious than my other videos. Though at the same time, as you might not like what I'm about to say, it might be stimulating and healthy for you to hear. So let's start with Justin Bieber. See, I don't necessarily hate Justin Bieber. I just kinda hate his existence. Allow me to explain. You see, Justin Bieber is boring. He's bland. He's just an ordinary awkward teen with a label and a haircut he stole from the Beatles. But this isn't actually what I dislike about him. You see, the counterculture crowd nowadays is kind of turning into the same sheepish blob that the pop culture crowd has always been. A lot of the counterculture will hate something just because the rest of the counterculture hates it. In this case, that's Justin Bieber. A lot of people hate him just for the sake of hating him. They like being all, oh, this dude's popular? Well, I guess I have to automatically hate him. I have to go against the crowd. I have to do my own thing and be an individual. See, this is all fine and good. You can do whatever you want. I don't give a fuck. But if you hate something, then it doesn't really do you any good unless you have some reasoning behind it. Basically, Justin Bieber has been so molded by his record label rather than his own creativity that he's turned into sort of a blank slate. There is no real personality or voice or emotion in his music or really his entire uh, musical industry. So really, anything that you see in this artist is just a projection of yourself. What you see in Justin Bieber is what you want to see in Justin Bieber, because it relates to you. You project your personality onto Justin Bieber because he doesn't really have one. Now obviously as a person, he has one, but his music doesn't. His music is designed for this very purpose. It's designed for you to project yourself onto it without you even knowing about it. So because anything you see in Justin Bieber is really just a reflection of yourself, you feel like you can relate to him. This is exactly what the corporations are counting on. Who better to make you happy than you, only richer and more famous? This is an effort by the corporations to make not only you, but a shit ton of other people happy so that they can reel in more money. And it's working fucking brilliantly. Not only does shit like this monopolize a musical economy and is one of the main contributions to its steady decline, it tricks people into thinking that shitty music with no real content is actually good, all because it has a catchy beat and some pretty boy standing at the microphone, singing out hollow blank nonsense that you people find appealing because you find your own projections in it. And let's bear in mind that just because a song is catchy doesn't necessarily mean it's good. You know that annoying ass song that just gets stuck in the back of your head and you can't get rid of it all day long? That's a catchy tune. If the content just isn't there, if the lyrics are lacking, if the artist's existence is made out to be something that it really isn't, then you're being played. And I hate to say it, but a large majority of our youth today is being played. And that's why I think the music market is dwindling. Whatever happened to Metallica, Nirvana, Kiss, ACDC, hell, even something like Michael Jackson? This music was all about personality. It was all about breaking off from the mainstream and being different. It was about disconformity, counterculture, sticking it to the man, letting your voice be heard. With artists like Justin Bieber, all of that personality, all of that drive, all of that voice is just subtracted from the equation. Instead of the counterculture, this shit's all about conforming to the masses and going where the crowd wants to go. And maybe I just sound like some asshole who doesn't appreciate change. But when shit changes for the worse, people like me notice. I mean, what emotion does this invoke in you? Maybe if you're into eight-year-olds, that turns you on. But outside of that, this music has no personality at all. I can see how having a blank slate artist who is only limited by your imagination would be interesting and neat for some people, but it isn't for me. I don't want to waste time listening to my own projections or paper-thin interpretations of what this crappy hip-hop might mean, because I know it really doesn't mean anything at all anyways. I don't need to practically listen to myself. I find me boring. The thing about those past artists that I mentioned earlier is that they had their own opinions to voice. They had their own feelings to express. That's what music is all about. Not this prep conforming teenage hip-hop bubblegum bullshit. Moving on to Eminem. Now see, I don't have as much of a problem with Eminem. His music definitely holds personality. He definitely puts his voice and his emotions into it. It's just the way he got to the top and the way he behaved when he got there that pisses me off. See, rap is supposed to be an underground thing. It isn't supposed to be mainstream. Yet this guy went all out mainstream. He went Teen Magazine mainstream. Eminem sold out hardcore to get where he is today. And what does he do after he cheats his way to the top? 
he gloats. And he acts like he's some roughneck renegade individualist badass motherfucker who's invincible. First off, individualism doesn't fucking exist. You rely on society for everything. Bill Gates relies on society for everything. Everyone relies on society for everything. Secondly, what's up with the tough guy routine? Because you had a rough childhood? Because your dad left when you were a baby and kids bullied you in school? I've got news for you, my life follows a very similar pattern. Hell, I've been through amputation. But does that make me some badass motherfucker? No. It's great that your music got you to where you are, man. It's great that you have money to help support your daughter and give her a better life than you had. But don't let your power turn you into something that you're not. Don't fall victim to the power that was given to you.